If the current polls hold, the Wall Street Journal, I'm quoting the Wall Street Journal now, declared in an editorial last week, Barack Obama will win the White House on November 4th and Democrats will consolidate their congressional majorities. Though we doubt most Americans realize it, the journal continues, this would be one of the most profound political and ideological shifts in U.S. history, close quote. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. And, 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 and the repercussions extend, uh, the, the fact that they were made, will create disasters in the economy, I think will uh, pale by comparison to what they will do in terms of uh, countries acquiring nuclear weapons and turning those over to terrorists, which is the point of no return once that happens. Right, right. Do you, I was talking about this with a colleague of ours the other day, Tom McCurdy, who's an economist here at the Hoover Institution, and Tom said, well, remember what happened when Bill Clinton became president. <clears throat> His point is the American people are about to get an extreme illustration of the way government intervention messes things up. Mm. Bill Clinton offered only a mild illustration, and yet even under Bill Clinton, it was only two years before Republicans, before there was enough of a backlash response that Republicans took both houses of uh, Congress away and, and, and the man was boxed in from that point forward. That's a pretty optimistic reading of what might happen. In fact, very it's about optimistic. Very optimistic? Yes, because uh, uh, there, are, there, there is such a thing as a point of no return. Uh, and if, if and, and if in those if in those two first two years Iran gets nuclear weapons, we will be at that point of no return, and the, the next generation will live under that same threat and as far out as the eye can see. And so, sometimes people who get who are very clever say it's just as well to let these guys get in there and discredit right, themselves. Right, right. Then we'll win on the backlash. People said that when Hitler was arising in uh, Germany, and many of those people who said that died in the concentration camps. Uh, so. Uh, uh, which, which is a smaller tragedy than a nation dying, in a sense. Before the primaries had ended, you wrote, Hillary Clinton versus John McCain. I wouldn't know whether to vote Libertarian or move to Australia. <laughs> now we know it's Barack Obama versus John McCain. You'll vote for John McCain, but hold your nose? What is your, what's your fundamental Yes, I, the, the difference is that the, the, Clint, the Clintons had the uh, saving grace uh, 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 of uh, utter lack of principle, which meant that when 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 they saw which way the political winds were, were blowing, uh, that's the way they'd go, regardless of what they'd been saying before. Uh, this man has been a far left ideologue for twenty years, and I by and, and not just uh, a matter of ideology. I mean, people who are truly vile people. We're not talking about just people who have a certain theory. Bill Ayers, the Bill. Ayers, I mean. Acorn. I mean, we're talking thuggery as the way to get your ideas across. No, I think this man really does believe that he that he can change the world, uh, and people like that are infinitely more dangerous than mere uh, uh, crooked politicians. Final question: Let's suppose that the Wall Street Journal is right. Let's suppose that Barack Obama wins and that the Democrats pick up, uh, increase their majorities in both the House and the Senate. Let's suppose all of that. What would be your advice to? young people dedicated to free markets, individual liberty, and broadly speaking to the constrained vision that you write about in a conflict of visions. What do you do if something like this happens? You do whatever you, whatever, whatever you find you can do under those conditions, which you can only learn by experience. But it's a little like saying, uh, what advice do you give to someone on death row when they come to take them down to the gas chamber? Um, Tom, I'm trying very hard here to find a question to end the show on and up, but I don't seem to 